What's going on guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, still coming to you from the quarantine life. How you guys doing out there? You know, one of my favorite movies, you know, growing up was the movie called Rocky. I know we now know Creed, we have Creed today, but I loved Rocky. Sylvester Stallone was doing his thing in Rocky, man. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But one of the reasons why I loved Rocky was because when he got knocked down as a boxer, when he would fall down in the ring, he would always get back up. And those are just one of the keys that I've just really instilled in my personal life that I wanna instill in you, that when you fall down, you have to get back up. Life is not about you falling down. Life is about how well you pick yourself back up. So in this game, if you're in a losing streak, man, get back up. If you've made bad decisions, man, get back up. No matter what's happening in your life, stop judging yourself, but get back up. I believe in you. So Mongrel, Booga, and Stretch are three of the most dominant pros in Fortnite. You know, Mongrel, I, I mean, what more is there to say about Mongrel? I mean, we already know about Mongrel, man. And then we also know about Stretch and Booga. I mean, what an incredible duo. So in this video today, we're gonna be analyzing three of these beasts and see how we can take away, you know, some of their amazing solo gameplay. Also, if you want more exclusive content from pro players like Mongrel, Benji, and Lechi, head on over to ProGuys.com, where we have all of this, guys, alongside 24-7 on-demand coaching from some pro players who can guide you and take your gameplay to the next level. Whether you're a casual player looking to improve or an upcoming competitive player looking to go pro. But anyway, let's get this started. Starting off, Stretch is landing at Holly Hedges. This is an arena game, so we'll mostly be focusing on how Stretch wins his fights, you know, instead of just looking at much of his rotations and all that. Okay, so off spawn, he lands at one of the less contested houses, but some not so smart player decides to contest him, and knowing the player probably doesn't even have great loot, since, you know, the bottom floor of his house has worse loot than the upper portion. Stretch is confident pushing this player, but instead of just pushing straight into a 50-50, instead, he goes outside the building to get a different angle. All right, so the player is camping and expects him to come through the door, so he's easily able just to get a few shots off. However, there is a third party, so Stretch moves inside to break the third party's line of sight and finishes off the kill by baiting his opponent's shots while he holds a right-hand peek. Great. In this situation, the outside angle was great, but you know, I also like to mention something else. You know, when someone is shooting at you or, you know, third partying you, instead of you just spam building, try to find a way to break their line of sight or their vision of you, you know, by just using natural terrain and structures. This was a pretty simple example, you know, with Stretch simply just walking into a house, but a few other examples are going into a forest, you know, going behind a building, you know, just to disengage a fight, you know, or even just moving around a hill to just stop an opponent from spraying you and other situations just like that. That, you know so if you can just practice maneuvering the terrain around you man you're, you're gonna be able to disengage in such a safer way and guarantee that you're gonna win more fights okay so right here and I mean like right here stretch has a decent loot but you know still no shotgun and he's pushed the player begins spraying and stretch manages to outbuild it for the most part and then when the spray stops while the player reloads Stretch gets a beautiful beam off and he knows he has to get in. Okay, so when you don't have a shotgun, you need to absolutely W key in on an opponent as soon as possible. You know, what Stretch really does and he grabs the kill. You know, anytime you have no shotgun, it's just obviously a tough situation and all you can really do is just jump on your opponent and just go straight for the kill. Unless you're just able to just disengage and continue looting, which obviously wasn't possible in Stretch's situation. So bonus points if you're on a controller as well. You know, oftentimes, you know, if you simply just jump on someone's face, <laughs> regardless of your loot, the element of surprise can sway the fight in your favor. And it's obviously not the safest option and can definitely get you killed. But if you have no choice, then this isn't too bad to do. Stretch proceeds to find this player and wow. Okay, well, that fight's over. And there's one thing that we can take away from this fight, all right? And that's the best situation is always to get the first shots off, man. Even if Stretch had hit only one or two shots to start, that momentum would have not only just given him a health advantage, but scare his opponent. And also give Stretch the opportunity to take control of the fight and then just take better position. So whenever possible, try to make sure you get the first shots off in your fights, guys, so you know you can just enjoy the benefits of not only having a health advantage, but also being the aggressor and the one intimidating your opponent into playing more passive than they usually would. After clearing out all of Holly Hedges, Stretch moves up towards Salty and he sees this player in an engagement. Okay, so he tries to follow the player to see what he's up to and the player tries to heavy snipe him. Okay. Oh my God. 
Stretch pushes up, the player boxes up, and he does a quick mongrel classic. Okay, he hits a crispy shot right here, man, and he gets in to finish the player off pretty easily. So the third party is here. However, you know, Stretch is on the defensive. Instead of just playing passive and just staying in boxes, you know, Stretch pushes up to take control of the engagement. The player does a pretty strange, you know, launch pad play for height, but Stretch is able to clean up the kill anyway. Okay, so this fight may have seemed like really simple, but there are actually quite a few different things we could take away from this. First is, okay, so how instead of just going for shots instantly when he saw the player, Stretch knew the player's attention wasn't on him, so he decided to push up a bit closer to try to get a harder beam. However, you know, it just seems like, you know, he may have waited a bit too long to take shots because the player actually turned around and tried to snipe him. So before you can engage a fight, try to get close enough, you know, where you can get a nice beam off on the player just to start. You know, like we talked about before, but don't wait too long where the player is able to notice you. Definitely don't want to do that. All right, so second is Stretch's play for height in the second fight. Okay, so instead of just staying down and just letting the opponent be the aggressor, Stretch, you know, he actually pushes up. You know, in fights, you always want to be the one in control and you want to be the one pushing and going in for shots. So, you know, being the one stuck in the box is never good. Stretch starts cranking up, which made his opponent panic. And ultimately, you know, he took control of the fight and won it pretty easily. So you're going to notice how in almost every single fight, even when, you know, the other player gets the early advantages, pros are going to try to take control and be the aggressor. It's absolutely crucial that you do this in fights, man. It's going to put your opponent in fear and it's going to give you the opportunity to control the pace you know, heal and fight when you want to and be able to just to move around or just go for a larger variety of shots, you know, even techniques and angles on your opponent. Okay, so Stretch's clip was a bit long, but honestly, dude, like we felt like it showed a bunch of huge reasons as to why his solo game is so insane. Okay, so next up, we're going to be looking at some gameplay from Booga just to see how he handles some fights as well. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, so this clip from Booga is from an early game in Retail Row. During his first game, you know, of just one of the solo platform cash cups. The first game is usually a W key game for most of these top players. So, you know, they're not really afraid to land, you know, hot and, and just dropping a bunch of kills. Booga hears this player rotating into his building and he makes this hilarious play that honestly made me laugh out loud when I first saw it. Okay, so just take a look for yourself and then we're gonna talk about it. So as most of us like know, decoys love to pickaxe walls, right? So Booga tosses down his decoys and he starts pickaxing with them to bait his opponent. And then he jumps on the opponent to grab the quick kill and catch him off guard. Okay, so I'm not too sure if this was like quite realistic to use like in a high point lobby, but yo, it might be something to keep in mind. Booga cleans up the kill on the last player and another player comes in, right? Okay, so remember when we analyzed Stretch, you know, we talked about how, you know, when you have no shotgun and can't disengage, to simply just jump in and just catch them off guard. Well, Booga follows that exact same strategy right here and he cleans up the kill pretty easy. Okay, so we're gonna skip ahead a little bit to where Booga spots this player getting sprayed at. Okay, so he pushes up and he gets a quick beam from behind just to clean up the kill. Honestly, you know, sneaking up on opponents and getting these backside angles is just really overpowered. You know, when you hear a fight happening, you know, always try guys to get behind one of the players so you can just get an easy beam, all right? If not, an instant elimination. It's just really, really simple, but you know, many of us just forget to do stuff like that and just push into the middle and get killed. Finally, okay, we're going to be taking a look at another W key game from my boy Mongrel and Benji Fishy, who, you know, I might mention each made a course on ProGuys.com, which you should definitely check out. Okay, so the first clip we're going to be showing is a very short one right here, okay, showing a strategy Mongrel and Benji use all the time in duos. Then we're going to be looking at a clip from Mongrel's solo gameplay. Okay, so this clip is a bit short, but it's still got so much value, bro. Like, especially for duos. All right, so this is basically called the double RPG, and it allows a duo to basically get a free 100 plus damage on each player, man, if not a kill, with really no risk. Okay, so all they do is just go above the player, build up, and count down, and both shoot their RPG at the same time. So one rocket breaks the builds around, and then one gets the player's box before they even have time to build. Okay, so here's another example of this amazing play. 60, 60, 60, 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill on left. Okay, 31. Yeah. Oh, hell. Nice. All right, guys, so next up is a quick clip from a W Keep Hype Night game, Mongrel Play It, all right? Take a look at this clip, and then we're gonna go over why this is so important. All right, so Mongrel starts this engagement by just building for height and doing a textbook edit play to get a shot off. 
Then he grapples up and he breaks his opponent down. Then he finishes the kill, obviously. Okay, so we want to focus on here, which is the breakdown of the builds, all right? Followed up by the shotgun blast for over 100 damage, which basically ended the fight. I don't know why, but people just seem to look down upon breaking down builds. I don't get it, but whatever. You know, if you ask any pro, they're going to tell you that it's one of the easiest ways to get high damage off. You know, whenever you see someone just building up and their builds aren't really reinforced well, like this situation where, you know, the player was held up by one ramp, Consider just trying to break them down and just catching them in midair with a shotgun blast. The player will usually not react to just being broken down with a shot because they're going to have their build menu out trying to catch themselves. <laughs> Honestly, you know, breaking down builds really seems like the next big skill gap in Fortnite. So definitely start trying to do that when you can. Okay, guys, so we've been over a lot in this video and we really, really hope that this analysis of three of the world's top pros help you guys out. All right, so let's go over a few key points from each player. Here we go. First and foremost, man, okay, if you ever contested for a house or just trying to fight someone who's hiding inside one, try to look for peeks through windows. Chances are, you know, if you do this properly, you can catch your opponent off guard, just like Stretch did, all right, and get an absolute ton of damage off, allowing you just to push in and grab the kill. All right, second, whenever you're getting third partied or disengaging in a fight, you know, try to use, you know, natural or, you know, full player built cover to just break their line of sight. Stretch did this, you know, using the house, but, you know, you can also do this, you know, using trees, you know, hills, player builds, or basically anything else on the map. Okay, third, getting the first shots off in a fight, oof, it allows you to get a health edge over your opponent, you know, it instills confidence in you and really just strikes fear into your opponent and allows you to be the aggressor when you fight. All right, so speaking of getting the first shots off, if you have the opportunity, try to push up a bit closer on a player before taking shots so you can maximize your pre-fight damage, okay? Just don't push it too far like Stretch did in this example, or you might just end up with a heavy sniper shot in your face. Trust me, that's just no fun way to go out. Finally, okay, possibly the most important tip from Stretch's gameplay is to always be the aggressor. Never let yourself be the one getting W keyed. Always, always make sure that you're the one in control of the fight, period. You know, even when a player started off by pushing Stretch, you know, he built up and he took control and the player panicked, allowing for a pretty quick kill. All right, so moving on to Booga's gameplay, one of the key tips from him, okay, and also Stretch, is that, you know, when you have no shotgun and you're being pushed and you're not able to get away and loot up more, you have to simply just get in and just catch your opponent by surprise. You know, the full auto spam mix with the element of surprise are often enough to pick up a quick kill, even on someone really, really good. All right, so although this play might not be viable in a ton of situations, it may still be pretty valuable to remember Booga's little decoy play. Okay, so you really never know when a simple trick like this might allow you to get a kill and probably a funny clip as well. But anyway, when you're third partying a fight, just like Booga was in his early game, try to sneak up behind one of the players and just get a beam off if you're able to. This is gonna either like straight up eliminate the player or just get them low enough where you can just quickly push and then just clean them up and just fight the other player after. All right, guys, so finally, moving on to our boy Mongo's gameplay. Him and Benji tend to use this double RPG play that we went over, shooting their RPGs at basically the same time to dominate opponents who are hiding in boxes. Honestly, this is super OP, and they often get upwards of 10 kills in their W key games off this strategy alone. Yes, I actually mean that, 10 kills. And finally, guys, the takeaway from Mongo's one-on-one -on -one fight is to not be afraid to break down player builds. Oftentimes, you can be able to catch the midair as well with a stinky pump shot and pretty much in the fight right then and right there. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. All right, so overall, guys, you know, we really hope you enjoy this analysis video as much as we enjoy making it. Use these strategies from Mongrel, Booga, and Stretch just to dominate all of your fights in game. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and look, share with all your friends what Pro Guides is doing. Finally, if you want exclusive content from pros like Mongrel, Lechi, and Benji, along with 24 7 on demand coaching from pros, head on over to ProGuides.com where you can find all of this and a lot more. All right, guys, we'll see you soon.